you anchor by, I could literally flip and kill you. <sighs> I was actually at the game uh, against Stoke. Um, guys, I was I was there, I think I paid about 55 quid to go down. Um, and it's the first away game this season I've been to, um, which is this is my third away game after Leicester and West Brom in August and October respectively, that we didn't get beat. Um, problem, Newcastle won, uh, which is very, very annoying actually. Uh, and even though we've got a game in hand on Newcastle, we have to make that game in hand count now. And I'm just really, really hoping that, you know, we swap places with Newcastle and then finish up and finish above them. You know, I just, oh God, this is just so annoying, this. Um, Kabai chooses today. Today, of all days, of all games, to miss a penalty. Right, I know to a point that what I'm going to say is going to be absolute rubbish. But in my opinion, um, it's starting to feel like there's a conspiracy against Sunderland staying up. Hear me out. Now, I'm not just saying this because there are Newcastle are our rivals. I'm saying this mainly because they are a big threat to us staying up. Um, Swansea go there, get rolled over. Man City go there, take the lead, don't bother to see it out. Liverpool especially, go there, go 2-0 up. Don't bother to see that out either. And then look what happens. Um, and then Palace go there, have a chance to get a penalty. Have a, have a, get a penalty, have a chance to get the 40 points, take two points off Newcastle, fan Dabby Dozy. And then that happens. Not impressed. I did say, I did, but I did get both scores right. I said we'd draw and I said they'd win. Now, in hindsight, <clears throat> um, we're a point behind Newcastle with a better goal difference in the game in hand. Now, that game in hand, like I've continuously said, means nothing if we don't get anything from it. Aston Villa. Sorry for the Arsenal badge, by the way. And thankfully, they did us a favour by beating Norwich, by the way. Aston Villa, I know you're screwed. Please, please, please beat Newcastle. Or at least get at least get a point against them. I, mean, I can't take them winning again. We have to better their result next week. Um, I would take a draw against Chelsea on the condition Aston Villa and Manchester United win next week. Um, then we get us back out of the bottom three, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, we can then make our game in hand against Everton count. And so I would take going into the final game of the season with it being in our hands. I'd take staying up on goal difference at this point. And I said I'd rather have to rely on points, but I would take staying up on goal difference. I really, really honestly would. So... It's so annoying, really. Um, on to our game. Um, first half was pretty 50-50. There was not really much in it for either team. And Altovich had the best chance when he drifted away past Yedlin, I think it was, and managed to sky his shot over. Well, way over. Way off target, actually. Um, sorry, me. I've got chafed lips, by the way, in case I'm looking at my lips so that ends why you know. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, I mean, Peter Crouch actually had a couple of chances before he did actually... Um, before Stoke did take the lead. But I'll tell you what, no, we got to half-time 0-0. I thought, right, we're doing okay. That's fine. Not too much to complain about here. Could test their goalkeeper a bit more. But other than that, you know, come on, we'll go for it. Second half. Oh, my God. Right, I'm going to have a look. at Actually, I'll tell you what. I am going to have a look at the goal we conceded right now. So if you bear with me, I will get onto a website that can allow me to get highlights of Sunderland games and all that shit. Right. Stoke versus Sunderland highlights. Let's have a look at this. Stoke versus Sunderland. Oh, God. All right, let's have a look. I oh, don't want this thing to mess on me now. But no, I mean, I was livid when we conceded. I'm, I'm usually livid when Sunderland concede a goal, period. But, you know, I need to have a look at this again before I can make an um, official decision on it. Because from where I was sitting in the stadium at the Britannia, that they were attacking the opposite end in the second half. So I didn't see it very clearly. Right. Okay. Here's the highlights coming up now, I think. Right, let's have a look. Really? Let's have a look. Add it. What? Okay. Right, for me there... I think Kabul could have made a bit more of an effort to try and challenge Crouch, but to be fair, Peter Crouch is big and lanky. It's the same argument I made with um, Yedlin against Mitrovic in the time where Derby, so he's not going to win that very much. Um, what I would say, though, is 
Corner got turned far too easily for me. But again, it is a good piece of skill from Manoutovic. And there you go. Look at Alalaisa's face. Oh, my God. Right, well, there you go. I've just seen the goal. Um, from then on, we lost our composure. And we did not look like we were going to get back into the game. Um, so, you know... Uh, there wasn't really much in the game. I, and I, I thought we deserved a point out of the game. Not because we were good. Because, but believe me, we weren't. But, um, because the passing was shocking. Every time we tried to do the long ball thing, it didn't work. And it's not a, a slate against Allardyce's tactics or anything. But we generally just didn't... We, did, we looked off it today. We looked really off it. However... Um, that's that. So, uh, from when Stoke scored, we lost our composure. We just didn't, we just didn't look any good whatsoever. Um, and the relief came, uh, oh, for God's sake, right. Let's have a look at this, right. Now I'm going to have a look at our penalty and see what, and determine whether it was a penalty or not. Right. Let's have a look then. Let's see. Right, was this a penalty? Right, okay. That was a good ball from Invia, by the way. Did the ball. You probably hear it in the background. Let's have a look. Well, hopefully it's the point that keeps us up. So let's have a look at this again. At first, from my view, I was screaming for it, but I guess I thought it was a penalty. I don't know, you could make a case for that. I've seen them given. Personally, I'm leaning more towards it was a penalty than wasn't. Um, but there you go. But look, the, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm... Oh, let's watch the celebration, why not? I went fucking mental when this went in. Went absolutely mental. I was begging, literally on my feet and begging. Oh, hang on a minute. Right, a couple of my friends are on the stream. Oh, yeah, I can see that, a couple of my friends are on the stream. And my, one of my arms is in shot. It's been a long How Credit for Tafo for taking this. Yep. That, I'm, I'm pretty. If that's the point that keeps Sunderland in the Premier League, I'll be delighted. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. There's a long, there's still a good few games to go yet. Oh, just about, just about. Anyway, but um, no, I think in the really in the end, I was relieved, definitely relieved to not lose the game, and we're only a point behind Newcastle, like I said, with a better goal difference and a game in hand. So that has to be considered and has to be remembered. So going into next week, I, I, it's a pretty, it's almost a given Newcastle will beat Villa. So we, pardon me, we've got to get a result against Chelsea. Ideally, we could do with um, Aston Villa getting something against Newcastle. But bear in mind, it is still in our hands. But we have got to make that game in hand count now. We can't afford any more stupid slip-ups and so on and so on. Guys, I'm going to leave you there because I don't really want to talk about this game any more than what I have to. But, oh, please, Sunderland, just stay up. Please. Right, I'll see you later, guys. And that's at least, if, if that's going to be my final away game in the Premier League for some time, at least we didn't lose it but because I won't be able to go to Watford. But hopefully, that's our, hopefully we'll be in the Premier League next year. See you later. Bye.